for just one minute. All right, all right, all right, all right, wonderful people. All right, wonderful people. Uh, this, is, uh, this is a very uh, quick broadcast. Um, it's going to be, be very, very quick. <clears throat> As you are coming in, please don't hesitate. Invite your friends. Invite people around you. Let me also check my uh, platform if everything is going well. Yeah. We are already there. We are already there. Uh, thank you, great people of Biafra. Let me check the other platform if we are there. Because it's very, very important. It's very, very important. Yes, I'm there. I'm there. Um, my great people, this is going to be a very quick one. Very, very quick one. It's the emergency broadcast. As you are joining, uh, don't hesitate to invite your friends, invite your loved one, invite freedom fighters and uh, well wishes. Um, and I want you people to go straight to my article. I want you people to go straight to my article. I'm going to put it out here so that you people will understand what I'm doing today. Um, you know, we never shy away from debating anybody or saying things the way it is. Let me see if my voice is coming out clear. Uh, let me see if my voice is coming out clear because I need my voice to come out. Okay, 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 okay. The voice is coming out, and um, I want you to go to the article. You will see what I put there. <clears throat> Criminal busted. Criminal have been busted, and the that thing in Finland is uh, paying our people. And the uh, lawyer Jimako is part of uh, autopilot infiltrator. I'm going to prove it beyond reasonable doubt, so that you will understand what I'm saying. <clears throat> now, uh, I just want to introduce myself. I don't want to take much of your time. I think I'm going to do this quick so that you will understand what I'm doing. All right, wonderful people, freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, great people all over the world, and we wish us you are welcome once again on IPOB Rapture Media slash Biafran Television Channel 1 under the leadership of Mazen Nandi Uchpukano. Here I am, I always set the record straight, regardless who you are, your position or your wealth. We don't care, but we are always here to set the record straight. My name is... Mazo Kenila Ukechuku, known as the Biafran Chari Wanshineke, the general. I am from Ehala in Anambra, Anambra in Biafra land. I am IPO beyond the chain of command. Mazen Nambi Okuchukukano is the highest commander and the highest authority in this Biafran restoration project. As it stands today, Mazishike Dozem is the one in charge, and every directive from him starts. <clears throat> now, I want you people to listen to me very careful, and uh, I don't want to waste time. We are going to listen to this voice note of uh, that thing in Finland, that thing in Finland. That thing in Finland, and we are going to analyze it a little bit. We are going to analyze it, like I said. This is a very quick broadcast. I don't want to waste time. I'm going to play it straight away so that, uh, that I want to tell you people how that thing in Finland is selling out our people. I want to prove it beyond reasonable doubt. Of course, I know that a lot of you have heard about this video that I'm about to play now. I'm, I mean, the voice notes that I'm about to play now. A lot of you have heard about it, but I'm going to, you know, uh, extract something out of it and then you begin to understand that this guy is a contractor this guy is a double agent and this guy is killing our people i want you to pay very big attentively and i want you to listen to every you know my analyzation on this issue of this Iberima in finland and you begin to understand that and this video that i'm voicing that i'm going to play now is already in the hands of uh, dss 
and the Nigerian terrorists in uniform. And I want you to now to use your tongue to count your teeth and understand that this guy is just selling out our people. Now let us pay attention to this. Let us pay attention to this. Let us pay attention to this. Let us listen to this, please. I'm going to bring something out of it. Straight away, I'm not going to waste your time. Straight away. We have no time to waste. Yeah, brother, good afternoon. No, not, not this, not this, not this, not this, not this. Yeah, brother. Not this. I think this one. Where Simon Eber is getting his, those things that he's using to buy our people. Now, you will understand that Simon Eber, he has no, there is no background at all. There is no any plan at all. That is why you see within three hours, they caption all those people that he paraded on fort. And there is something I want to say here. I want you people to make sure that this video that I'm doing today, I never mentioned this guy name before. You see this guy they called um, Ono Wundibo. Ono Uibo. I want you people to make sure that this video get to him because I just listened to one of his videos yesterday. He was trying to say that Simon Eba have stand. He have come. And there is no how they are going to stop him. I'm telling him that you see this name of autopilot in exile. Just very, very soon, you can never hear that name again. I am the one that promising you, you can never hear that name again. It will come and go. It will just like a water, you know, when something is floating on the river, it will just carry it and go. Just let humanity to be free. We will tell you that you see all these people from beginning to the end. We are going to you know, pull them down to the extent that whenever they hear, we, they can't even speak government in exile. You see this thing that you are saying that Simon ever have come, this is how Mazen Nambekano started it, this is how Mazen Nambekano, you know, be able to establish his own. Simon ever can never use us to establish his own. But me, I'm telling you, make sure that this video get to Ono uh, Uibo, uh, this guy that came, uh, come from Okija. Tell him that I, the Biafran child, the one she like a maso, okay, no, okay, who is telling him if humanity is free today, I'm giving him only two months. You can never hear anything of government in exile. And you see all of you people that are saying that Simon Eber is doing well. When we will enter Biafra land, it will be times 20. And all of you people must accept whether you like it or not. You know, we are saying this now, but some of you don't know the reason why we are keeping quiet. We so much love Mazen Nambikano. We don't want anything to happen to Mazen Nambikano. I am telling you the honestly speaking, I don't lie about what I'm saying. We are intact. There is men on the ground. But our men cannot just go out there and begin to do all these things. We also rescue people that Simon ever kidnapped. We rescue them. And that is how we have been rescuing all of you people. But I want you people to tell or with, uh, or, uh, or no, we, that you see that video that he did last that, that is his last video that i promising him that by 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 if mazin nambekan is free today i'm giving him only two months if you hear about simon ever again if you ever hear about him just call me whatever you want to call me you know i'm not coming here to exchange words or to begin to abuse you but i will tell you that you yourself <laughs> You will eager, but I'm not in on him and give you no we will eager, but I don't want to go more further. But we are going to listen to this voice. I'm also going to show you video our people that Ibrima have kidnapped and we rescue them. And we know every of their up and way, we know everything. You know, Simon ever cannot use us to stand, he can never do that, and he, he knows that it can never work for him. But now, let us pay attention to this voice note you will hear where Simon Eber is getting his ammunition from Fulani people. And you begin to understand that Simon Eber is working, Tafin in Finland is working with Nigerian government. There's no two ways about it.
Now let us listen now, please. All right. Um, uh, all right. Simon, ever speaking. Nation they recovered from Boko Haram. <laughs> so that shows you that Simon Eber has no link at all. There is no link at all. He's waiting for the ammunition they recover from Boko Haram. And who is the one that's going to give him that connection? Is it Boko Haram? Now, do you understand what we are talking about? Let us continue. The ammunition they recover from Boko Haram. Now you understand what I'm saying. The ammunition recovered by Boko Haram. Let us continue. that these people are using to chance our people. Now you hear it that it's not a, a real one. It's just, just a fake a fake stick. OCC, OCC happy, happy. That is what they are using to that is why they are capturing them like where somebody just went for fishing. Or a net. It will just fly net. Net will catch almost 30 to 40 fishes. Now you understand. They are just using all those things that is not working. Just using it to deceive our people. That is what they are doing. That is why they are capturing them like where fishermen went on in the river, on the river, or to went for fishing. And he will throw the net. The net will catch maybe almost 300 fishes. That is how they are getting them one after the other. Everything they are using is fake. The guy has no connection at all. The guy has no connection. That is why he's just selling our people out. Now, I want you people to listen because that is where I want you people to pay attention very well. I want you people to know how this guy is selling out our people. Now pay attention. So 
Okay. 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 Now you see how this idiot sold our people out. He said, he said, I will repeat it. You know, you know, some of you, that is where I will end this video. Some of you don't understand what this guy is doing. Some of you will not understand it. Small time now, you will come out and say, Mazichin Asamuru is calling the, 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 your commander name. Who is your commander? Who knows you? When, I, when, when this uh, uh, IPOB uh, ESN set up, you were not there. Nobody knows you. He said, are you people, are those that have come between Abia and Ebony? Between Abia and Ebony. Now, do you know that this video, this audio tape, have gone viral? Do you know that before I myself or other people, I lost, I, I just, my phone was, uh, I suppose to, I have this uh, voice note over four days ago, but, uh, you know, my phone, my main phone just uh, broke yeah, four days ago, so I lost everything. So this is my old phone. I have already ordered a new phone. Nobody pays me. I do everything alone. I have to order a new phone tomorrow. I have already ordered, I mean to say, probably maybe tomorrow or day after tomorrow, the phone will arrive. So that I can be here, because I'm supposed to make, that is why you see me for, for, a, for two days now, I never drop a short video, because whenever I'm dropping a short video, I need two phones. One to listen, one to have the interaction with the video that I just, I will just, I will listen. Now you understand. Simon is asking the guy, and this voice note, before we get this voice note, the zoo call Nigeria have already have this voice note. He asked them, are you the one that operating the camp between Abia State and Ebony? Now, tell me, how do you think now, before these people will go out and come back, the Nigerian terrorists in army uniform have run them up? That is how they are killing our people. You see all those people that just parade themselves on fourth of this month, saying that they are enforcing it at home. This is how they run them up. This is how they caption all of them. This is how they kill them. And you never ask yourself, how are they detecting these people? This is exactly how they are detecting them. This is how Simon Eber is just selling our people out. He said to them, are you the one operating the, the camp? between Abia and Ebony. Let us listen to it, and I'm going to stop it there. Okay. So, they can be men of the grant. Your men of the grant. Your men of the grant. Every day, every day, every day, I will talk with you again. So, this is your concern. I've been taking notes of it. So, you will hear from us, okay? Yes, sir. I copy that, sir. And I'm going to see you before you come over. Because I'm going to offer you Yes. I am an OBS between Abia, between Abia and the Bonny Wafiko South. Afiko South. And I am a server between Cross River and the Bonny. Kaino okay. and Afiko North. Okay, okay. So you are going to hear, you are going to hear from us. Uh, Integrate us together. And then after, after all, uh, Parawa, Parawa, you can talk. But... Now, I will just stop it here. You know, when I'm saying all these things, some of you will just come and said. Maybe be a French child and watching like a mazo okay, no, okay, you don't know what he's talking about. You see, all these people now that are telling you that they are between Abia and Ebony and the cross river between I don't know what he's talking about. He have called, he have told the zoo police, police, the zoo military in army uniform, he have told them where the camp is. You see, why I'm telling you people, these people don't he, he see secrecy. That is why we what we are doing this time around. Is shocking every one of them. It's shocking them. 
This Biafran restoration project, it needs secrecy. It's not something that you see. Just imagine an unknown entity coming in and yapping every single day. No secrecy at all. No, no, no anything. No anything. This is how they are, are just packing our people like where a fisherman went to to catch a fish. Now you understand it. Small time, you people will say, water, water is the cold. You don't even know that they are bringing ammunition they have, you know, recovered from Boko Haram. That is what they want to give to you. And those people that are giving you that those things, don't you think that they are coming also to capture all of you? Before they will give you this ammunition, you will have interaction with them. Probably they are the people that are going to send this ammunition where you want them to send it because they will tell you they have security. They have their own security. And this is a very man in Finland because he knows nothing. He will tell them yes because army is going to guide those things to push it there after they will pay their money. And when they are, will pay their money because they need security so that they won the money they paid for the ammunition, they don't want to lose it, isn't it? Then they will also ask for security to follow them down to where they are going to push this ammunition. Who are those people? Fulani people. I, I, I don't even understand maybe you are getting my point. Are you people getting the point or you are just sheepishly following this idiot? I know, of course, some of you don't know anything. Now, I, like I said, I don't want to waste much of your time. Now, I want to go to a lawyer, Jimako. I'm telling you people, straight point, we are, we are setting the record straight. Our lawyer, Jimako, is part of autopilot infiltrator. He's working for them. I remember when uh, the leadership, my IPDOS, uh, the first time the, the rendition of Mazen Namdekano, Mazen Namdekano came to court with a uh, chain on his hand, his leg, they covered his face. We don't know if it's truly that, it, that it was Mazen Namdekano. Because they asked the Ezebiro, Ezebiro said that he's still on the mountain praying. So for the leadership to be sure that this is the man that is leading IPOB, they went and discussed about it to talk about what they can do to be able to see if Mazen Namdekano is still alive. They went on sit at home. It worked for us. But at the end, Mazen Namdekano said no is going to disturb our people because Mazen Namdekano don't want to, you know, be stressing those people that he said that he want to restore Biafra for. Exactly what Simon Elima is doing today by killing and destroying the properties and souls of our people so that tomorrow when you tell them about Biafra, they will tell you, if this is the way Biafra will be, then let Biafra not to come. Now you understand what I'm talking about. That is the plan and the the, the kind of thing that Simon ever they contracted him to do to poison the minds of our people so that our people will hate on Mazen Namdekano. By the time Mazen Namdekano will come out, Biafran Restoration Project is already dead. But we are here to defend everything. There is no, is, we are, I'm telling you, that's why I told you people, go and tell Ono who that, that, that Okoko, tell him that I said so. If humanity is free today, I give him two months. If you hear anything, government in exile, even though if you hear Eberima speaks, or those people you see today, they are parading. You see why we are doing, we are keeping quiet? It's because I see Kaibido Kaisieme. One no no, I am telling you. I don't know why some of our people don't even understand. You are talking about the leadership that they they are the people that set up ESN. We know every up and way. These people, just imagine a small boy that is bringing contact for a Ibirima. For ammunition, they, 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 they recovered from Boko Haram. A small boy living in Biafra, he is not giving Simon a contact. Do you people give us contact? Do you know how we operate? Do you know how everything we are, we are, we are made? Now you understand. He has sold them out. A lawyer, Jimakon, is working with them. I remember, like I said, when after they did not, the leadership, DOS, couldn't, you know, they are not sure if that was Mazen Namdekano. They, they, they be able to set up sit at home, which Simon Ibirima today is just saying that uh, he's the one. 
Alon Yejimako is one of those people that came out and said that Onyendu said, Onyendu said that they should cancel it at home. Alon Yejimako is the one that said it. With uh, the one they call Ezebio, adopted child from Afaruku Ibeko. Now you understand. Alon Yejimako is the one of those. He came out and began to shout, Onyendu said this, Onyendu said that, now, my question to a lawyer, Jimako, plus the Twitter, he tweeted. I couldn't bring it out on this, my phone, because like I said, my main phone just broke, and uh, it, it broke to the extent that I can't fix it. I have to get myself a new phone, okay? I could have bring the tweet out, so you see what this man wrote. This man never tell us if Onyendu said that Simon, or he never told Onyendu what Eberima is doing. He never condemned the sit at home that this idiot is forcing in our land, killing our people. Aloy Ejimako is there, never condemn it. Of course, they have paid Aloy Ejimako a lot of money. I have the evidence, I have the proof. When you go back, even though Rosemary and Didi Amaka, they send almost 20 something thousand to Simon, through Simon Eba. Everything is on there. If they like that, then go and delete the video. Aloy Ejimakona is telling people to come and defend that uh, they shouldn't call IPOB that they are the people that are enforcing it at home. But Aloy Ejimakona knows that Mazin Namdekane himself told the DOS that they should cancel it at home. Now Aloy Ejimakona is telling some, some people if you feel like come and come to court so that he will, he will defend IPOB. And he knows that only do himself have cancelled it at home. And who is now going to you know, challenge Alor Yejimako. Now Alor Yejimako is now trying to put Mazen Nandekano and IPOB that they are the people, that they shouldn't say that we are the people that are causing the problem. Instead of him to call Simon Eber. Because if you try to call that name, money will not, money will not come to him again. He's working with them and there's no two ways about it. Now you understand what I'm saying. This is the people that Eberima go sold out. Now see them. I don't want to show you so different. This is the people that Eberima in Finland sold out. All of them, they are down today. They are down. They are down. You understand what I'm saying? This is also the way these people in between Abia State and uh, Eboli, this is how they are going to capture them. Let me show you to see more again. Don't let me show you. You see now, this is how they are going to caption them. Those people you see, they have called where their camp is. Very soon now, I got one hack. I got one hack. I got one hack. I water, water is the code. Water, water. And I have a good story. Water, water is this. Water, water is that. They are killing our people every single day. Simon Eber is just giving away the mess. Because he's now in exile. But I'm promising him that that thing can never stand. We are going to make it as a bet. That is why I told you people, this one, Anna, oh no, we go. That man, uh, that guy, I, you know, I thought that this guy reasons. This guy don't ask himself. But our people went to Finland. Simon ever ran away. Our people went to Finland. Simon ever. Go and report. Have you asked yourself that question? Why is he reporting to police there? The same police of our people that is spying every day in our land. Now he went to go and report to the police where he reside because he needed protection. But actually, no, I thought that is Odogu. 
Why is he reporting to police? Why can't he bring his also boys from where he stays? Because as a, as a prime minister in exile, he's supposed to have a bodyguard, people that are protecting him, isn't it? He's supposed to have men that will stand on his front. But he went to go and report to police. But now he's telling our people to go out there so that the zoo police and army will kill them. But he's there now in Finland reporting to police. Use your common sense. Use your common sense. So that means that even though Simon Eber, as he claimed to be stupid prime minister, he don't even have a security that is protecting him. That is also what we, 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 we are saying about, about Mazen Namdekan, a whole the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, a whole the contribution we have done on this Biafra restoration project. This man don't even have a security. They just captured him in Kenya, just like just like ordinary person. And you are telling me that those people that Mazen Namdekan call their names, they know what they are doing. All those nonsense that run Mazen Namdekan up. So you want to tell me a whole man that we have, you know, you, you create, we created ESN to the extent that Marcin Namikana has no security to protect him. Don't you know that Sho Ayaba of Abazonia, do you know that he have a security? Do you know that? Do you know that? I am the one that is going to say it. These people are just stolen. And I a guy in a Zucos. A way go The one they called Madano Yibo came up last time. <clears throat> he was saying that when Mazen Namikano came to America, eh, there's a security eh, everywhere, but you can't see them. They are all lies. There is no security. Just imagine. Just imagine. They just keep they just I don't know how to put this. Just a man that set up ESN. We saw the day that they launched ESN. We saw how many people they are. And the zoo called Nigeria knows quite right that this man, for him to be able to gather these people, that means that is a very powerful man but do you know that this man has no security upon all the money that we have been contributing they are just defrauding Mazen Namdekan from here and there they talk about security they say oh yes we are going to bring security it's a lie the same thing they told our people they paid money in Italy for for us to have Biafran television European standard Biafran television, some people stole the money. You see, I, you know I'm saying this. But we are just waiting for Mazen Namikano to be out. A lot of questions will be asked. You see all those people that have stolen our money. A lot of questions will be asked. And we are going to also ask Mazen Namdekan because all this thing I'm saying, I'm not just lying. Oh, you people will know me. Wait, you see, I don't, I'm, I always tell you people, you may be a hero worshiper, not me. We set the record straight. Of course, we never dabble into this struggle like this. But now we have come. A, a lot of questions will be asked. How, Mazi, first and foremost, how did you even abandon the main leadership you people created this ESN following American people? We are going to ask the question. Record this video uh, for, for record purpose. Keep it. Keep it. You think we are coming here to joke? Keep it. Why inform? In first place, why do you have magician as I would have said it down with that number? And we, we know that is why people are calling the leadership today. They sold Mazen Namdekan. We are going to ask Mazen Nam, is it the leadership that sold you? Or people in America. Process the bureau that told us that you were on the mountain praying. As the bureau knows that you are you are in Kenya. Your secretary, the, the one they call uh, what her name. Kalola uh, and Okraf knew that you are in Kenya. Madam Finance knew that you are in Kenya. Masi don't even know. Masi but now we, they are putting all the problem on us. When we speak, then we tell you uh, he don't know. One just came out to say that he want to take over Masi Namdekan. That is a, a family business. A copy of whose story? A who am our, our money? One woman is holding our money. We are talking it. No audit. Nothing. And you are telling me, listen, 
record everything that I'm saying. You keep it down. When the mass in Nami Tanu come, this is how, unless he, he will come out and tell us, say, oh God, we are so, I'm sorry. This is a mistake. And we are going to change a lot of things. That is how we are. But if all these people continues, I got, I, if I got pure no I got pure no open also. I got pure no open also. I don't lie about what I'm saying. Because enough is supposed to be enough. Now they are going to London, pay you money every day, saying that they are going for court. The update of the court, nobody told us. The one in Kenya, there is no, that up to date, there is no update of our lawyers in Kenya. In London, they are going every single day, failing, because they want to said they are the people in charge we are the people that have done the the the, the also when they say that they want to make mazen nam the canon a surgery up to date now to date now the mazos or a uh, son or sacrome have called them okay we have concluded bring the the doctors now no one bro they never bring the doctor up to date they never bring the doctor up to date but they want to go from the back and do it so that tomorrow, when anything will happen to Mazen Namdekano, then we still keep on blaming the DOS, saying that, uh, but you are the leadership. I don't know, maybe you people are getting what I'm saying. The, the same thing that happened when they kidnapped Mazen Namdekano from Kenya, rendition him to that contraption. What are people are saying? Maz, uh, the leadership DOS, you're supposed to know. That is why sometimes I don't blame a lot of people when they are saying that the leadership supposed to know. Of course, that is the right. And those people that are asking that question, don't blame them so much because the leadership, which is DOS, supposed to know where their leader is. They're supposed to know. But it's unfortunate. But it's unfortunate that they did not, they don't even have an idea. It's unfortunate. That is when you people will begin to think what is going on because of the trust. We are not coming here to trust anybody. I know that Mazen Nami cannot trust a lot of people. That is where the mistake comes from. Now he will come and tell you that uh, Hello? Yes. I'm live. I'm live already. I'm alive already. Yes. It's okay, it's okay. You go there and I see it. I'm just, I'm live. Uh, even though I'm, it's okay, Mars. So, you can't blame them. You can't blame those people that are asking that question. You can't. That is the, 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 the narrative. And that is the propaganda they push to people. But your leader's DOS is there. Mars and Nam, the can see, have been kidnapped for eight days. They couldn't have an idea. The reason why is like Mazin Nam have said, Nam they cannot sideline these people. There is no two ways. Oh, Mugi, we are not to go on. They sideline them. Those people that have been working, those people that they were together, set up ESM, the security outfit that's guiding our land. They are the people that set it up. But when Mazin Nam they cannot travel to America, some of idiots, I don't even know, Obon and Dian, they use Otomobo. And I believe not Otomobo in here. Because here yeah, I boy, yeah, Obaraka, 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 and the whole leader of the, the largest movement on this earth don't have a security. We want security in our guide here. I be amuri an airport, and I just amuri. When we speaks, you will say that we are just. All this thing is something that's supposed to be changed. At least, Mazin Nambekano is supposed to have a powerful, you know, contact with security. Do you know that? Sir? As Cho Ayaba is today, even though that's how you will kidnap Cho Ayaba, within two days, the security that are guiding Cho Ayaba have to contact those people, release this man is our own. Unless you people want war, unless you people want problem, release the man, the man is under our custody. That is when you have a security that is guiding you. Because it's a security that is well known in the world, but it's underground security. Whenever they, that is why you see in Nigeria today, sometimes we see Boko Haram. They will kidnap some people within two days. Then we, some people in that place, they know those people that are kidnapped those people. Even though in our place, that sometimes that they will, some people will just stole car. They will go and meet one man. The man will tell, okay, wait, let me make a call. 
he will call two, three people. Within when he will call two, three people, they will tell him the the people that uh, you know go for the operation. Now he will begin to you know have interaction with them. If this thing is something that they are going to return, have you, don't you ever see some things that I have stolen from people? Within two days, they return it as it is because it's a contact. Those people do have a contact. When you now you kidnap them, they will call you, Oga, this person you kidnap, you don't have to kidnap him. Bring him back is our own. They will release the person without. This is how Mazen Lamkan is supposed to be. Even though you kidnap him, within 24 hours, call will go around and they will tell you, this man you are holding is our own. Release him. And that is how they are going to negotiate. They will free him straight away without talking. You will just see him come out and begin to speak. But we are doing all these things. These people don't, don't even have an, that, that idea or be able to set up a real security that will be guiding a man. You send Mazen Namdekano to Kenya, African country. You, you people send him where they will just pick him like a, a dodo without security. Even though in Kenya, you can also get security there. They will be paying money to guide him before you took him. Men will, 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 will fall. They are, they are ready to destroy everything for you to pick that man. This is how it is. A whole man that is leading, a whole man that will speak, Biafra be, will be, 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 be everybody. Today, now there is a problem in Biafra land. Everywhere, even though the House of Frep and Assembly, all these uh, lawmakers, they are now telling you now that if you release Mazen Nam, they can all these things will stop. Now you understand it. The same man has no security. You just speak him. When we speak, you will say we don't know what we are talking about. We know he's a he's everything in America. Very, very soon we bring it out. Show the world. On our D who can be. Oko Oko. No office at all. On our yena I make be a lawyer. I thought that he's you people we are saying that uh, a lawyer Jimako went to Abia State. He he uh, Nigerian government say that they should release Mazen Nandekano and free him and pay him one hundred and billion 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 billion. Oh Kunsiako. Is it not the same thing that Bari Sefanye Jofo just uh, received very soon? Early the last month, early this this month or something. The same money. Audio money, they are all audio. They will promise you, but you are not going to see the money. The same thing they told Boris Ifan I don't know how many million they say that they should pay Mazen Nandika. Have they paid the money? No. The one they told a lawyer, Jim, I call you people, we are shouting, eh, have they paid him the money? The answer is no. They will be telling you, eh, Boris Ifan, eh, you know, if you ask the one they call unfortunate in law, he will say that eh, a lawyer, Jim, I call have to shine. Shine for what? Are we coming here for shining? So what I'm trying to tell you people today, like I said, I don't want to waste much of your time here. I'm just trying to tell you people. Tell our lawyer, Jimakon, we are just waiting for humanity to be free. We are going to, you see all of them. Tell all of you, all those people you see today in Biafra land saying that the leadership did that, did that. We are giving them just a time. We are giving them just a time. We are not so coward that Mazen Namdekano will be in DSS dungeon, a man that meant good for us. We are now going to be destroying Ali Igbo because Biafra land is Ali Igbo. We don't want to do that. Now you see the people that Simon ever have, the, his men, under 24 hours they captured them. Now let me show you people our men that Simon ever kidnapped. Simon never kidnapped them. They rescued them. Simon never kidnapped them. ESN rescued them. ESN rescued them. Simon never kidnapped them. Life kidnapped them. Where is that video? See that video. See that video. Go to Rabbi. They kidnapped them. But we find them. So do you think that these people that went to go and rescue those our men, they kidnap. They kidnapped. Don't you think that these people can go for 
all those elements then. You see, that is why I told those people that went to one of our media warrior page to begin to ask forgiveness. You don't need to ask forgiveness. I know, I know there is a hunger in the town. I also know the reason why you people deviated. But I keep on saying this. You know, people like us are so angry. I know sometimes I will say some things that you people won't like it. But if you want to lift yourself, for me to believe, you have to begin to do something. You know, what you do will make us understand that you are doing well. I will tell you the one they call lion. Let me talk to you in a way that you people will probably like it. Because I have always, always go harsh on you people because of the anger in me. I feel so bad because there is no way and there is no two ways about it. Most of you people are the reason why Mazin Namdekan is still in DSS dungeon today. Because when we were telling you people that where you are going, there is no road. You don't want to believe. After you people have scattered for almost going almost two years before you people begin to realize. Now you want to turn around and begin to tell us that we should forgive. We should move forward. We should do this. We should do that. Like you are talking to your kid. I draw the see you are you are Odogu. You are Odogu. What makes you Odogu? I want you people to know this. If you don't know what to do, begin to tell the zoo called Nigeria where their camps is. Begin to tell them, work with it. I have told you, we are going to work with anybody to make sure all of them, if you like, oh, you are innocent. Do you think that I'm care that a believer will be in Finland and telling you to go outside there and begin to buy our people? And you think I'm going to listen to you? No, I can't. So what I'm trying to tell Caterpillar and the one called himself Lion. I don't know the Lion, everybody having different names. I don't know. One they, they, they have they have sent to Chukwu Kika Diamara. That one says double Lion. This one also claimed to be Lion. Listen, let me tell you people something. And I know that you people are listening. Begin to go on the ground. Start doing the needful. We are watching. All those camps that you have been to, I hope, I believe that, if I'm not mistaken, the one they call Shadow, I don't think that he's still living today. His own is gone, right? I don't know, but I have heard the Kepu Kepu that something that a guy is no more. You see, if you don't do something quickly, this is how Ibirima is going to pick every one of you. So what you have to do now, I'm giving you advice. Yes, I understand I have said this time with that number. I'm worried at the wrong. But through what you do, we can also be able to see that you are working. Go on the ground and begin to do the info. Counter them the way they called you. This is how you are going to go for them. Now, are you listening to what I'm saying? I am telling you this because, you know, most of the time, this is the first time that I have speaking to you people on a calm way. So that you people will understand that it's anger. Everything I'm saying is anger. Because you people disappointed me. Me, me in fact. You people disappointed me. You call yourself a commander. And you went to national camp. And within two days, three days, they kidnap on you. You come out and begin to told us that it's because of hunger. And I'm asking you now, since now you stopped you claim that you have stopped working with someone. How are you feeding? How are you feeding? Are you thinking that you are coming to IPOB for us to begin to feed you? Is it what are you coming? So your problem is how where you are going to be fed. That is the question I'm asking you. That shows that even though you did not join Simon ever, you will be feeding. I heard you clear said, Biafran people are those that are helping you. Biafran people are those that are helping you. As you see me so, I don't receive money from anybody. 
They don't pay me. They, no, no support. No support. But I'm just doing this because in what I believe. I, I myself am blessing people in Biafra land. I bless people. I bless people because I know there is a lot of things going on in our land. I know that is a, poverty is everywhere. No job. But that does not mean that I will come here and begin to tell you I help this. I help. No, I help people. Because I am on social media. These people have my number. I receive a lot of complaints every, every single day. People are calling me, telling me they never do this. This is a problem. This problem is this. This problem is that. Even though up to today some people now have off my phone because of helping people. And nobody is here to support me to help them. I have also discussed this thing with some people so that they can also support me. I will give them every details of these people. Am I a Father Christmas? Not only me, I know that every one of us on social media, that their number is out there. The people are calling them every single day. If I open my phone, my other phone, if I told you people, that was a that was last three weeks. If I don't receive message from in my inbox, it's more, I, could, I could have shown it if my phone is not there. I receive more than 80 messages. I never open it because I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I'm afraid to open it. If this person don't ask this, this person will ask this. And I'm keep on helping. I will keep on helping. Because you know why? I don't lie to you people. I am in better position here in Europe, I work, I receive my salary every month, and this money is coming every month without stopping. This is the reason why. So, let me show you people, our men's, our people, not our men's, I mean people in Biafra land that Simon is with his gang, kidnapped, and ESN go and rescue them. All this thing, if we know who ML baby or not, correctly, if we like we are in freedom fighting, he can't be saying all this nonsense. He will never say it. He can't say it. In our way, this is how Mazin and the canon Dobrank here from this. Now Simon and Dobrago. Or this is how you people will promote him till uh, he will enter pit of hell. And very soon he is going to enter pit of hell. With you people. With you people. In a gym Mazin and the canal compare someone ever. Oh no, you, you open a seaside, open a seaside there. You people cannot stay one place. I never talked to that guy before. I used to see their videos because I know that these people, they call them content creators. They just want to have the news, how they will promote, how they will get money from the internet. I just listen to him. I just, but let us see the video of our, our men, uh, our people that have been kidnapped. And ESN went to go and rescue them. And you are telling me that Chuku Okikabi and Mayo Ubiko, I keep on praying to you. You are only Chuku that we have. She Okeuku. Pray, please. Let Mazen Nambekan free. I am begging you, Chuku Okike. The zoo call Nigeria. I am pleading to you, Tinubu. Please. Please. Of course, some of you will say we are we are pleading. You know why we are pleading? We want to sh shock every one of you. We want to shock every one of you. This time around, is no more Fulani. This time around, we are going to do deal with every infiltrator, every criminal in our land. Tinubu, please, we want you to free Mazen Nambekan. Left those people for us. Left them. Two months. Only two months. And you won't know for now. But you can't get on also. If you give one a Korea, it can on also. If you didn't know on social media, bottom, I have told you people. Even on camera, Jidem. Listen, let me tell you people something you don't know. I have conquered death. I carry go mom. Yenja bang na mo carry on mo bo. Mo amana one day, someday. This is how it is. 
That is why I will keep on doing. And that is why we are going to, you know, all of them, I gauge them. They are here behind us, they are So, you want to get me, you can't get me, you can't get me, you can't get me. And then I told John, we, we have already conquered it. We are not afraid of death. Because someday, one day, man must die. There's no two ways. You can never live on this planet and forever. That is why I'm telling you people, I have already signed my death warrant. It must come one day, one day, one day, one day, one day. And all of you people that are defrauding our people through Christianity and all this uh, nonsense prayer, you people have. There is a video that I will drop a short video. I will drop a very short video very soon. The one they call a bubu monster. I thought that it's the only Bukobi that is doing that nonsense. I will come for that man. You know, to tell the world what they are doing. All this one can boss no mami hana boss the end Dibia. I call Koka no na men come in and come on. We are going. I got pay one up on us. We are going to remove all this nonsense from our land. You people are using to defrauding our people. I will begin to call their name. But in the DPL, all of you people, I want you people to bring your power. I want to see all those nonsense power you people have. That you have nothing. So let us see the video of our people. Like I said, how many minutes have I used? Let me see. I don't want to waste time here. I don't want. I don't want to waste time here. I don't want. It's a pity that our people don't want to learn. It's a pity. It's a pity. Okay, I just have a I have short minutes to finish. One hour is done. Let us go. Let us go. Let us go. Let us go. Oh yeah, yeah. Open, open, open. Let us go. Let us go. See, see our people. See them. ESN go and rescue them. The idiot to call oh no, he can't even. He don't even have means. Now come here, come here. He home about Abu Dhabi, Dubai, or now come here. Yes, yeah. As you can see, we are from the bush. Thank God that we have rescued all of them. Yes. You see it. Let me show you people they rescue. Can they rescue you, no? Reverend Father. Oh, today, yes, yes. Yes. Can you not go on today, yes, sir? Fifteen million. Fifteen million. Listen, let me tell you people something. You know they say it's full and full and this is this is someone ever full and you. Listen to me. Are you hearing what I'm saying? We are going to deal with them. There is no two ways about it. I thank you, great people of Biafra, for listening. I thank you all. I really appreciate those of you that share this video. Of course, I don't so much care about your sharing, but I it's also good for us when you share. But I want you people to know that we are on frequency. I am on frequency. I am on satellite. So when you tune Biafran Television Channel 1, of course, you are going to see me. So we don't even care if people share or not. But it's going to help us if you do the needful. And some of you that are going to also listen to this video, when I, be, when I will drop it, when I will stop, I want you people to also circulate it. I told you about how Simon Eber is selling our people. You, you people heard it when the guy was saying that. It, Simon Eba asked them. And you know the worst part of it? This guy has no code. Remember that Mazin Nambekano told you people 
that some men, some gallant men that they traveled to all the way from Europe to meet this toad, that uh, bloated pig called Asari Dokubo, they went there in Kotonu to visit him with cold, with cold, even though Asari Dokubo himself was afraid. Do you know that these people don't even have cold when they are speaking? They are just opening their mouth, saying everything, you know. There is no secrecy on their plan. He told them the camp between Abia and the Ebonyo, what they call it. And tomorrow now when the Nigerian terrorist ministry will move to there and capture all of them and buy them, you will come out and begin to cry. Hey, they have killed us. So, hey, Madichin and Samoro have said them. But you hear them. You hear them now saying where the camp is. You hear them. You hear them. You hear them. Or do you think that it's only us that have this audio tape? I told you people that I have this audio tape four days ago. It's because of my phone that broke. I could have done a short video about this. And you people know my short video will always go viral. I will drop very soon. Very, very soon. Very, very soon my phone will be back. Very soon, maybe in two days, I will receive a new phone. You see? You people should always do the needful. Like another one I said, Alo Yejimako. Alo Yejimako, you know, your own. is just Kamazen Nambekanopota. And I'm promising every one of you that are shouting, Uno na abamba, we are common sense. We are say, no one is fine, amen. Ehi uno chuboko uno baba anibu uno na abos. But we are not going to do that to our people. We are not going to kill our people. We are not going to buy our people. We have said it time with that number. If we buy our people, Biafra will never come. That is why we don't want to buy our people. But now you people are seeing somebody that is buying our people every day as a strong man. And you people have forgotten that the men that he is deceived, the men that he deceived were organized and launched by DOS. And you people have saw, even though the, 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 the uh, what they call it, the the second badge of ESN, those people that they never put in uniform. You people never ask yourself, how did we, IPOB, and the leadership of Mazen Namikan be able to organize those people? That the Irima now is lying to them. I have used one hour, three minutes. Oh my goodness. It's all right. I thank you all. Great people of Biafra Freedom Fighters, I will also use this medium, this short time, to greet the wife of our lady, Sheshi Dia. You know, I will keep on praying for you, and I know that you, Kukitariyama, will guide you and protect you, and always give you light and wisdom and strength to be able to stand. Because at the end of that tunnel, of course, there will be a light, and the light will shine. We are working towards Biafran Restoration Project, our last goal on this planet Earth. Biafra will come. And there's no two ways about it. I greet you all. And may the may Shuko Kikabiama bless DOS, bless Mazen Namikan and IPOB. I won't even forget to ask him also to guide and protect the media warriors. Because we have come to stay. We have already chosen our path. From me, from here, it is good again to receive.